Hello, I'm Cameron McNair, and this is a brief demonstration of a project I call NoisePrint. This is a patch built in Max, formerly Max MSP, intended for a student project and currently a prototype. However, it will be expanded upon soon and will gain creative and intelligent uses. The screen shown is a presentation within Max. NoisePrint is focused on simulating an environment, such as a recording studio, and generating the acoustical properties of it. I'll start by generating dimensions for a rectangular room in the green section. There are two options, setting original dimensions or choosing an optimized proportion. Let's look at the proportions. In the new patch window, there are three proportions for a vocal recording studio, one proportion for a teleconference room, and one for a radio style talk booth. I'll choose Vocal Studio C. The corresponding proportions generate for height, width, length, and volume. I'll change height to 15 feet. When I enter the new value, the other dimensions adjust accordingly. Now I can generate the axial mode resonant values. This is one of three resonant modes of acoustical properties, the others being oblique and tangential. The graphs represent linear data from 0 to 500 Hz. Anything above 300 Hz has little to no effect on the room's resonance. P, Q, and R are simply variables that operate the equation, and the values on the graphs represent the fundamental resonant frequency and the octaves of it. In the orange section, I can adjust the materials of the floor, walls, and ceiling. In the new window, I can use the drop-down menus to change the materials. I'll change the floor to carpet on concrete and the walls and ceiling to wood. After initiating, Sabin and reverb time values are generated. Sabins are sound absorption units, simplified as how much sound does the structure absorb in terms of surface area? They are shown in the blue section. The yellow section shows reverb time in seconds. Both of these vary between 125 Hz and 4 kHz, as shown. In the red treatment section, I can add a bass trap and abfuser to treat the simulation. These values can be compared to an untreated setting. All of this data can be a collective framework for many uses. My future goals are to explore these directions in hopes to understand the capability of interactive technology. Thank you for watching my demonstration of noise print.